I love feeling like America and I love tasting freedom. The No Fate Channel, checking in. On this episode of the Supplement Review, I have two pre-workouts from Axe and Sledge. I have their seventh gear extreme stim pre-workout and I've got their hydraulic pump and focus pre-workout for the hardest workers in the gym. Now, if this is your first time to the channel, do me a huge favor. Give this video a like and hit that subscribe button. On this series, I usually review a supplement on every episode to help you decide if it is right for your fitness goals, your health needs, and most importantly, your hard-earned money. Now, Axe and Sledge is run, owned, and operated by Seth Ferrosi, and I am absolutely butchering his last name. So I'm going to put the information of, of, of who he is in the description of this video. He is essentially an IFBB pro bodybuilder and a human fire hydrant. I'll put his photo right up here. If you have ever seen a photo of him, he literally is a massive mountain of a man living down there in Pennsylvania, USA, God's country. And he's doing all the things right, saying his prayers, eating his vitamins, and looking absolutely massive. So he's got a whole lineup of supplements, and I haven't reviewed any of them. I went over to Flex Appeal in Burlington, Massachusetts. The last time I was there, I saw these, that they had these. I picked them up, I grabbed them, and I figured let's just give them a run. I've had these for a while. I've used this four times now. They're pineapple, seventh gear, and I've got their hydraulic that I've used for three times. This is their non-stem pre-workout, and I figured why not just do a review, and I like doing two at a time because it ends up saving time overall, and I can skip a lot of the BS that comes along with the intros to these videos. So let's quickly get into their hydraulic. So this is a stim-free pre-workout. It is a blood flow, nutrient flow, growth for the hardest workers in the gym. We're going to go over the ingredients. Obviously, it's got the whole two scoop, one scoop. You know we only do full scoops. Two full scoops come in at 20 grams. You've got niacin, B6, B12, and magnesium. Things that are overlooked, but things that we do like to have in our pre-workouts. L-citrulline, 5 grams, and that is for pumps. That is probably the number one pump ingredient out there. Glycerol powder, 3 grams, another huge dose. Beta alanine, 2.4 grams, which is slightly underdosed. We like to see 3.2. Uh, L taurine, 2 grams. Magnesium creatine chelate, 1.5 grams. Agmatine sulfate at 1 gram. More pump ingredients. L tyrosine for focus. I do love my L tyrosine at 1 gram. Arginine silicate, one more gram again for pumps and nl acetyl l tyrosine at 250 milligrams. Now this comes in uh, 20 servings for $38. This was at uh, Flex Appeal in Massachusetts. They have an awesome selection. They've actually got really good prices and that's honestly what people are paying for stim-free pre-workouts. It does come in, I believe, seven flavors. Um, seven flavors, seven. And I got my hands on HWMF. Tastes like America, feels like freedom. And I'm going to tell you straight away, whenever I see these like American flavors, I jump on them because I love feeling like America and I love tasting freedom. Uh, unfortunately, this flavor was good. It wasn't great. Typically with your, with your pre-workouts, with your pump products, you really want to have that killer taste. This one was just okay. It tastes like those Freedom Pops you have as a kid, like the red, white, and blue popsicles in the ice cream store or you get off of an ice cream truck. It was good, but it just didn't like, didn't send it for me, right? It wasn't a full send. Overall, I will say this is really focused on the pumps. Lots of pump ingredients, the L-citrulline, the glycerol, the agmatine sulfate, the arginine. Boom, the pumps were great. The volume was great. The veins were great. Really good on pumps. Focus was lacking, again, we know with these stim-free pre-workouts, you tend to get pump products and then you tend to get like focus products. And then a lot of them try to do both. This one really leans towards the pump products. Really solid pumps. Really have enjoyed this one and the taste. I know I knocked it a little bit. I just expect greatness and it was good. Of course, we can't all be great in all things, but this one is a stand-up product at a fair price. Now for your extreme 
Stim pre-workout, seventh gear, pineapple express, 30 full servings. One serving is 9.8 grams. Here we go, niacin, B6, B12, magnesium. Love to see that stuff. We've got beta alanine at 3.2 grams, the full dose what you're supposed to have. Beta alanine and hydrus at 2 grams, that is for performance. And we've got magne mag magnesium, creatine, chelate, 1.5 grams. I don't necessarily care if creatine is in my pre-workout. I could go either way. If I had to, I would say kick out the creatine and put something else in there. But that's just my own personal preference. Caffeine and hydrogen, 3.5 cups of coffee, 350 milligrams of caffeine. Choline bitterate for focus, 250 milligrams. Alpha GPC, 200 milligrams. That is under the 300 mark that we'd like to see. We have seen some products with stem products put in 600 uh, of alpha GPC, but again, it's good to see that it is in there. Uh, Tiacrin, Tiacrin, 100 milligrams. That goes really nice. It pairs very well with caffeine. It's almost like you get that caffeine effect without getting the stim with that Tiacrin. Then they throw in what I love to see, which is the second form of caffeine, dicaffeine malate at 50 milligrams. And that is the longer lasting form of caffeine. So you're getting total 375 to like 390 milligrams of caffeine because that dicaffeine malate isn't like a one-to-one -one ratio. It does um, dissolve in your system. You're only getting like three quarters of that 50 milligrams. We've got black pepper extract for absorption, which we like to see. Huprazine A at 100 micrograms, which I do like to see. How did seventh gear actually deliver in the gym? Did it put me into seventh gear? It was a really good pre-workout if you like your stimulants. Coming in just shy of 400 milligrams total of caffeine and that teocrine, it was a really nice smooth energy because the stimulants are here, but you're not getting some of those more funkier, exotic stimulants that can really throw off your system. I really liked it. The focus was good, good focus, solid, energy now the energy I, I use scoville heat units the way that people rate peppers in order to give you an idea of how this handled this was like 275,000 scoville heat units so it is just shy of high high stim or hardcore pre-workouts it's above medium it's in that kind of middle zone and frankly in 2021 we're seeing higher and higher and higher stimulant pre-workouts and that's why this one is only in between medium and high. Frankly, for most of you, if you're not careful, if you're not, if you're not familiar with high stem pre-workouts, you're going to think this is extremely high. How are the pumps? There wasn't many pump ingredients in here. I'll be honest with you. There's no pump ingredients in here. And for many of you working out hard in the gym, you don't need pump ingredients to get a pump. You simply just got to work out hard and keep your rest between sets down um, and you're going to get some crazy veins anyway. I think really in reality that a lot of these, this product and this product were destined to be put together. I tell you, when I put these two together, I did have crazy pumps and crazy energy. Obviously, when you stack two crazy products, you're going to have better results and i think that's how they did it so I, i'm surprised that they didn't put actual more pump ingredients in here but it is a solid pre-workout for those of you who don't necessarily look for pumps as far as cost 40 dollars for 30 servings a dollar 50 per serving for a pre-workout is a good price again in today's 2021 market we're seeing lots of supplements lots of pre-workouts increase their price and hit well above that two dollar mark for those pre-workouts Overall, the flavor was delicious. It was a solid pineapple with like a hint of a mango at the end. A really solid flavor at uh, mixing it with eight uh, ounces of water. I found that less water kind of made that flavor pop. This does come in four flavors if you are interested. Overall, these are good products, if you, especially if you're looking to put these things together. Big fan of Flex Appeal. They got like four or five locations in Massachusetts. Every time I pop into there, I am like a kid in a candy store. They always have these cool shelves just lined, lined with products I've never seen before. Um, and I'm always trying to pull ones off the shelf and try stuff that I haven't before. These things are solid. I'm happy I grabbed these Axe and Sledge products because I've never tried any of their products before. I want to know from you in the comments below, have you tried any of Axe and Sledge's supplements? They've got a long list of products that they put out. And I'm always curious what people's opinions are of this company and their products. Drop it in the comments below. This channel is dedicated to my life as a father of two wonderful children and it centers around health, fitness, and all of the tricks and tribulations that I go through to try to be a great parent to my children and still accomplish my own personal goals.